What's up, guys? It's Norfolk from Eastern Jacob Montaigne here. And um, what I have with me here is a small little Shet Schneider flex trap. I was able to rig up so I could show y'all guys some running videos of the two locomotives in my collection so far. Um, this is also going to be a update video of some separately applied details that I got in my previous videos that were gave to me. Um, I've equipped some of them on um, some rolling stock, I put some on some passenger cars, and um, without further ado, let's get started first with the layout, uh, the um, test runs. Um, first up is going to be the Southern Crescent E8 by Rube Rusey. Um The motor will start running, but it doesn't have a good flywheel in it, so it's a little rusty whenever it gets going. It takes it a little bit more to get up there. Everything works good on it though. It's pretty smooth running once it gets going. It's a really old engine. Runs good at fast and slow speeds. Overall a really nice engine. The light is pretty good. Um, it doesn't show through the shell. They did good on making the shell thick enough. Um, I plan on getting a cab interior kit for that later on. And uh, now what I'm putting on the track is my Athern Norfolk Southern SD50. So uh, this has got directional lighting. It's a pretty smooth running engine. As you can see, I can barely apply any power and it'll start moving. Sorry, I have to be careful because the Atherin engines, they won't stop on the dime. They roll that little extra bit. And um, what I was messing with earlier is you can actually run both of these on DC and they actually do pretty good like they both pick up the same amount of power because on some models just one will take all the power and actually this one is faster until you actually pick up the speed steps and you can stop that one and the uh, Atherin will keep rolling since it's got such a smooth flywheel. So you see that one's getting away. And once you pick it up a little bit, the southern one will kind of hop along until they end up catching up. Which is about where we left off. Okay, so that's that. Uh, let me drive these down here so y'all guys can get some looks at them while I unbox some of these. So here's that. Um, next up is the a rolling uh, Norfolk and Western box car that I did that I've weathered. I added on some small walkways. Above the couplers, I added a coupler to it because it was missing one. Um, that was pretty much it for that. And next up is the passenger cars that I've detailed and worked on. Um, starting with the observation, I added a skirt now, so now it's got a skirt on it. Um, I added an air pump and a Athern details part. I don't know if y'all guys can pick that up good or not. There you go. It's a lot better. So I added a couple small things like that. I added some chimneys to it. A couple small things like that. Added another small air compressor. So uh, that's pretty much it for the observation car now. It's got some pretty good detail on it as is. 
at least until I'm able to get interiors put in them. So there's that. Uh, next up is the standard coach, which I don't think I did much to, and I know I didn't touch the baggage car yet. Um, so pretty much, uh, there's nothing changed on this side, but whenever you turn it over, added a another storage box and another brake compressor. So uh, that's pretty much it for the coach until I get interiors. Um, next up is the baggage, which I haven't done anything to, so I'm not going to show that. And next is the diner, which I think I've done the most to. Um, starting with above the diner where the kitchen would have been, I added several smokestacks to the top, which looks very nice. Uh, I've added another storage box right here. Um, there's a bigger air tank and another brake one. And um, I plan on getting some diaphragms. For heavyweight cars, plan on getting some of those later on. I need to wait till I come across some at a good deal, or wait until I come across them at a train show. But um, that should wrap everything up. Um, so far on some updates. Um, I still haven't heard back from the guy who's supposed to be sending me six eleven. Um, I'm not shipping out my traded part of the deal until I got a tracking number for 611 so um, hopefully that'll get here soon and as soon as I get it I'll be more than happy to do a first hand unboxing so you guys can experience as I experience it and um, don't forget to like and subscribe leave any comments um, if you like anything from my older videos that y'all guys would like me to pull out and go into deeper review about um, you're more than welcome to leave a comment on it, and I'll check them every day. But, um, I think that wraps everything up for now, so, like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe, and y'all guys have a good day.